Hi all, this is Tim Wilson with Evolution Software. In today's video, we're going to look at the Insert Face Tool as it can be used to insert nuts and bolts into parts. Let's go ahead and access the tool through the main tool palette and the fourth icon from the left, Insert Face. And uh, let's go ahead and select it and let's start off with, first of all, aligning our washer to a hole in a part. Now the first face we're going to pick is the cylindrical inside face of the washer and we're going to have it align up with the whole cylinder. And then the second face we're prompted to pick is a mating face. We would like this face mated with this outside face. And uh, there you can see our washer is now lined up with our hole. Next we'll go ahead and do our, our bolt same steps, we're going to pick the cylindrical face that we want to align up with the whole face. And this time we're going to get the face of the bolt so I can get the bottom mating face so that it lines up with um, this face. And this time we're going to specify an offset uh, where uh, we want it, the offset to be the amount of the washer. In this case, the washer is 0 0.134, something I measured previously. And you can see our, our bolt pops out that offset amount. And then lastly, we're going to put the nut on. And to pick the face, I'm going to turn off the uh, bolt. And now uh, let's go ahead and select key faces again. We shall pick the inside cylindrical face to align up with the hole. And we're going to pick this top face of the nut and we'll have it align made up with the outside face of the part. Now let's turn everything back on. And well we still have that offset so let's go ahead and turn that to zero so that the bolt is flush with the surface. There we go. And now you can see our uh, example is now uh, all properly aligned in place with the part. In our next example, we're going to show how you can select any face on the fastener to do your, your line with. Uh, in this example, we have a thread going all the way up the, the bolt. So we're going to have to select the head to do the uh, alignment with. So let's go ahead and do our insert face tool. And the first face we pick is the alignment face. And from this face, it's getting the, 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 the center line and it's going to align it with the washer uh, cylinder axis that we select in this step. Then for our mating face, we'll turn this over a little bit, pick the face on the bottom, and then we'll pick the top face of the washer. And there you can see our, our washer and bolt are, are now aligned. In our next example, we'll show what to do if your part doesn't have a cylindrical face, which is required by the, the insert face. For example, let's go ahead and try and select this, this bolt, and you'll see it's an illegal alignment face. The face that the insert face tool wants has to be planar, cylindrical, or spherical. Now, this part was imported from Rhino, where Rhino is a NURB-only modeler, where it does not uh, represent cylindrical faces as 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 a analytic surface. So what you're going to have to do with something like this is go into the uh, Edit Simplify Object tool. And what this does, this will examine all of the NURB faces and see if they can be uh, replaced with an analytic surface where an analytic is a cylinder or a sphere or a plane and convert them. In this case, it converted all 19 NURBs into an analytic. Now, as an analytic, logic cursor is smarter. It now recognizes center points uh, of, your, of your bolt, and the insert face tool will now work. Let's go ahead and select our cylinder face. So now we have a, we have a, a diameter and a center line associated with the cylinder, and let's match it up with our hole. And then let's grab that bottom planar face now and mate it up with our part. In our last example, we're going to show 
what to do if you have no cylinder faces that can be referenced or simplified and you want to align your fastener with the part. And this, this method we're just going to use a translate and then a three point align uh, to get the job done. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to translate and I'm going to uh, do a translate of the object. I'm going to reference the center and go to the center of our of our hole and this is just going to move it into the into the position. And next we're going to do an alignment uh, using the three-point align and let's jump over into a wireframe to do this and we're going to reference for the center of rotation the, the head and for the reference point to start the rotation we can use any of these center points and then we're going to have it go to the center point of our hole here and now let's uh, turn it on you can see we're, we're, we're aligned correctly and then for the last step let's pull this out a little bit and we'll do a mate operation because we can reference uh, those planar faces now and let's go ahead and select the bottom face of the bolt and the top face of our part. So that is using a translate and a three-point align. Thank you.